Italy is now officially the country at the epicentre of the outbreak. There have been more deaths there than anywhere else in the world and doctors have told Sky News their hospitals are on the brink of collapse as they struggle to deal with the sheer number of patients. There are now so many bodies in the north of the country that many are being stored in local churches. The Lombardy region is the worst hit. Sky News correspondent Stuart Ramsey has been granted access to the main hospital in Cremona. They've run out of room at the morgue, but they haven't run out of respect for the dead at Cremona Hospital. The next batch of the lost waiting for cremation are laid out in the hospital chapel before collection. Their families couldn't even say goodbye. They're all in quarantine. It's a recurring theme now. Everyone dies alone. They came from here, the hospital's intensive care unit, which is on the brink of collapse. This is what it looks like when the virus overwhelms, and here in Lombardy, it's overwhelming. These patients are critically ill. In all probability, they won't make it. The staff have no cure available to them. They're just trying to keep them alive. Every 13 to 16 hours, they turn the patients over to relieve the pressure on the lungs. Without doubt, she wouldn't survive without constant attention. The patients are highly contagious. Where possible, they're observed from a distance, but most of the time, that isn't possible. Nobody takes any risks. They wash and sanitize constantly. Gloves, masks and protective clothes are regularly changed. In truth, these men and women are exhausted. The system is at breaking point and they are as well. But they keep going. They aren't the front line in this war. They are the only line. It's a, a, a very dangerous is a a disaster is a, a, a tsunami and uh, we are here uh, 12 uh, hours a day only uh, we are uh, go to home for uh, uh, a, a, a few hours and uh, come back here for uh, the, the work because we are a, a uh, here for the patients. The first, perhaps only, bit of good news for the teams here is this man. We couldn't approach him, he's still too weak, but he waved. He is recovering. After two weeks, he is getting better. In that two weeks, though, not one other person on this ward improved, or worse, they died. What uh, was really interesting here is that now they've had to extend the intensive care unit, but now it is absolutely full. It's absolutely full in every hospital in Lombardy. They're hoping that some can be taken away. And the other really frightening development is that the patients are getting much, much younger because they are not being treated in hospital because there's no room for them. Now, that is a big, big change because the virus has mainly affected the older age groups. Now they're talking about people in their 30s and 40s. That hasn't been seen anywhere so far. The only illnesses being treated in Cremona Hospital now are linked to the coronavirus and it's spreading. We opened this side of the department to intensive care only yesterday and today is already yeah. full. Oh, so in, in one day it's full? In one day, less than one day, yes. Emanuela Catanacci is a neurosurgeon normally. Now she's working in intensive care. She asked to send a message to the world. Lockdown. If you can see what's happened in other country or in other part of your country and wait to do something, I think now it's not more an option. Mm. Maybe at the beginning we didn't know exactly what would be happened, but now we know what happened. It's, you, you don't, 
don't don't think that uh, it is happening here and it can't happen everywhere else. It will. Because it will if you don't do anything to stop it. In Lombardy, they haven't run out of hope, but they're struggling with pretty much everything else. They're waiting for the epidemic to peak, but it could be weeks. It could be much longer. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Cremona.